Maintaining innocence. A local radio host sits in jail while his attorney fights for his release. Meanwhile, his wife is back in the home where she was shot. Police say Blake Selhauer fired a rifle as his wife walked away from a fight. Now the story is gaining attention around the country and even the world. Nine on your side's Evan Millward is live now with what happens next. Evan? Well, for now, radio host and businessman Blake Salehauer remains behind bars here at the Hamilton County Jail. As what happened at his Madeira home yesterday starts to make headlines not just here in the tri-state, but like this one from the New York Daily News, his attorney is fighting to get him out of jail by getting his $500,000 bond knocked down. Madeira police return to this Windridge Court home Wednesday. Misty Salehauer recovers here, surrounded by family except one. And it went, and it went off, of, it went off of the concrete. I don't know what happened. The facts fully support a finding that there was no intent to do any criminal wrongdoing in this matter. Patrick Mulligan represents Blake Salehauer. He's fighting against what police say was not an accidental shot. She kept repeating he. He shot me, get him away from me. So at that point, you know, one thing led to another. And with the investigation, we came to that conclusion. Chief Frank Moppin says the couple was fighting Tuesday. It was a fight that had been brewing here. My understanding is when he pulled up in the driveway, she came out of the house. He was already standing there with the rifle in his hand. We found out it's not Salehauer's first time in trouble with Ohio law. He faced charges of having sexual material involving a child near Columbus in 2005. Those were eventually reduced and he pleaded down. His attorney says that's not relevant and Salehauer never meant to shoot his wife. When the actual facts are that there's a shot into the ground, that's difficult for the government to prove. So again, Mulligan trying to get that bond reduced. That's because he says Salehauer doesn't have a violent history and in fact does good work here in the community. We did find out that he's on the board for the Greater Cincinnati United Way. We've reached out to them for comment. Also, still no comment tonight from 55 KRC Radio or Salehauer's own company, Janie King. We'll keep following it. Until then, we're live downtown. Evan Millward, 9 on your side.